Hi guys, Demus are here and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to draw Dory from Finding Nemo or the new film that's supposed to come out, Finding Dory. So first here I'm drawing a semicircle to do the eye and doing a little, another semicircle inside. Now I'm just filling it in with uh, black, obviously layers as well, about three, four layers. And now I'm using a pink ballpoint pen. This is a Papermate brand. And now I've got the purple, which is Stedler, my favorite brand of pens, just to give it that sh shadows and yeah. A little bit of texture, you know, that nice feel. And now I'm drawing the bigger semicircle just to complete the eye. Yeah. So for the skin, most of it I'll be using this light blue, and soon you will see the dark blue. Here it is. So these are the two colors I'll be using for the skin. So here I'm basically just trying to get things going. So back to the purple. So as you can see, the line is just in between the eyeball. So it's like measured up. So basically, like I said in my previous videos, something always lines up with something else in this style of drawing. So now moving on to the second eye so i did the circle quite big first because if it was too small then you can't really correct it whereas if it's too big you can always adjust to make it smaller yeah so now i'm doing a full circle inside it's about a centimeter i'll say and now see this time i went with the purple first and then did the pink Second, uh, doesn't, there's not much difference, it's still going to be the same. It just depends on the amount of pressure you apply. If you apply a lot of pressure, yeah, it's just it's always good to just apply lightly. Like here, I've just applied the dark blue lightly, and then I just keep going on top of it with the, dark, uh, the light blue, and then the dark blue again, just to get until I get the color that I want. I never just go straight into it and just apply a lot of pressure. That's why most of these pens do last me long. Like that one blue pen, although I've used it for this drawing, it can last me for another 10 drawings because the brighter pressure that I apply, I don't apply a lot of pressure. Uh, now I'm moving on to the mouth part. So I did the black first and then left a little bit and added the blue and a bit of purple as well. Here comes the yellow. This is probably the hardest color to find when it comes to ballpoint pen drawing yellow. I will be doing a video soon on the new pens that I've bought recently from eBay. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Applying the light blue again. I have to say the hardest part about ballpoint pen drawing, not the hardest part, the part that takes the longest has to be the whole cross hatching process takes a lot of patience but once you get used to it it'll be it's, it's a lot of fun building up something it's a, it's a lot of fun and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it obviously I started drawing this one just because this is the way I started drawing I started doing cartoons and stuff just I thought it was the easiest way to like just to manage proportions whereas if you because I never really, I didn't really get into portrait like drawing realistically till I was about 14 15 maybe before that I was just doing cartoons, Dragon Ball Z, all kinds of stuff like Mario, just to get proportions. Once I got the proportions and I was like, okay, now I can move on to realistic stuff. Yeah, so it's just, for now, we're, well, now we're crawling at the moment, I'm just, and then we're gonna walk and then hopefully we can run together. So there, this part I just mixed in, I was in dark blue and the black. So I did with the black first and then I went up blue over it and that way it was kind of easier to blend here comes the yellow again 
to about three, three layers yellow. This is the one. And now, this is the second layer. And then the third. Yeah. I think of, yeah. Three layers. Now I'm applying the purple again. This is also about three, maybe, maybe three or two layers. That's one, two, three. Yeah, three. Blue as well, one, two, and three. Yep. So I average around three layers to get the colour on here. I just added a little bit more. If it's not dark enough, you can always add a little bit more. Now I'm adding the lines just to bring it to life. Never apply too much pressure, people. Never apply too much pressure. Just, just to. In this case, less is more. Put it that way. The less amount of pressure you apply, the more you have to work with. If you apply too much pressure, you're basically gonna ruin the joint straight away. So never apply, even when you're doing a black. Just see, I'm doing here nice nice and slow. And I'm gonna add another layer to it until I get it right. Not saying it's gonna be easy for you guys, but I hope you all give it a try. And you guys can send me some of the drawings on my Twitter account. The link will be at the end of the video or Snapchat, Facebook. Once you guys have tried this, hopefully this video is helpful, you guys can follow it. Send me them, I wanna see you guys' drawings. That's if you guys have ballpoint pens. You can always try it with like felt tip pens first. That's fine. So here, yellow again, doing about three layers of yellow. So this is the technique, I love cross hatching technique. It's just, I just love it. <laughs> it's, it's not really that difficult. Go one way, go another direction, and another direction. The closer the lines, the less, the less amount of ink you probably have to use. So, so try do that. Try keep the lines as close as possible together. And you guys should be fine. So I, I add a little bit of green and. Little bit light, light. I applied a little bit of black to the tail, and I think I'm done. Yeah, just add a little bit more dark blue. Yep, and that's it. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like my art, give it a quick thumbs up, make sure you guys share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Demus are. Demus here. I'm out. Peace.